Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. My name is Karsten. We're going to just take a very quick glance around here. There are a couple books. I don't want to miss any recipes. Nope. That's a bookshelf. Galana's unique style of cooking grew out of the need to provide delicious nutrition for the monks, while still adhering to a strict vegetarian diet. Campam noodles served only at special festivals. Okay. Keep talking about food, it would almost would have half expected there to be a cooking mini game in this game, but there's not, at least not that I've seen so far. It is lazy morning relax about the water, enjoy morning coffee, and make your way to the beach, blah blah blah. Okay. Talking about what a great place Porto Valor is, except I don't think it is anymore right now. Considering the state of the world. Alright, so back down. Hang on. Feeling we'll be going there later. Check of the uh, merchant here. I do want to grab a second axe just because I want to see if I can do a wield axes. Well, I can buy magic armor. What's this do? Okay. That might be good for him. Ice Axe. Let's grab the ice axe. Okay, now I want to see if he can dual wield axes. He can dual wield axes. Nice. I think what I'll do give you that for your main weapon and the other axe as your secondary. And I'm going to go towards that dual wield skill in a different way because try something different, you know? Means you are going to be dual wielding falcon blades again. And we're going to head back up 
this way. Yeah, I know I said I was going to try to move the plot along, but I want to try this. So we're going to research. Hendrick. Oh, now that's an interesting trick. I'll have to remember that trick. Because he has this unlocked still. Anyway, so we want to get access. This one. See what that is. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to grab two of these. Almost forgot. Because we need to unlock dual wield, which is right here. Okay, we'll get this because it hits an entire group, and then we'll save up 13 to get the plus 20 attack while wielding. But being able to have something that hits an entire group is going to be useful. Now how about you? Can you do anything with 11? No. Let's go back into equipment. Yeah, I figured. Okay, now we'll go back down and proceed on with the plot. this way and then what ah around that way okay oh that was where I was supposed to go I was just a little confused uh, nope, nothing there okay again to Anguilla, honored luminary. As I believe you know, it is my privilege to serve as High Lama of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as Your Holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world, in the castle of Dundrasil. Waiting for him? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? It is the emblem of Dundrasil. Since the Age of Heroes, the princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a prince of Dundrasil. Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pang. 
Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pang you speak of? When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grand Master Pang did not return. A noble sacrifice indeed. Now that the Master is gone, it falls to me to guide you. Come to the Field of Discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. Right. What's up here then? Is this where we're? Oh, this is the Grand Master's chamber. Okay. Not a whole lot in here. Oh wait, a couple books. Grandmaster's Ring Grilla wield a mighty weapon whose name echoes through the ages. I speak not of the wave cutter scimitar, nor of the staff of torn clouds. No, I speak of the naughty stick. The origins of this legendary tool of instruction can be traced back to the very founding of Angrela. It is said that the stick itself chose the very first Grandmaster. Some believe that it is carved from a branch of Yggdrasil and that even a dragon could not break it, though it cried with all its might. Of course, it is best known for its use in punishing young monks for lapses of focus. Pain it inflicts is rumored to be so severe that acolytes fear that their very souls have been spanked from their bodies. Okay. Master teaches that uh, man is the world, and the world is man. To devote oneself to good deeds is to serve the world. To bring goodness into the world is to protect it. Master teaches that through suffering we learn of ease, through sadness we learn of joy, to love mankind, thereby the world, this is our duty. Man is the world, goodness serves the world, learn good things from bad, and thereby love the world. These are the wisdoms of Angrela, realm beyond the clouds. These are the precepts by which we live. Okay. Oh, we can't. Nope, can't jump all the way down. All right. Let's see what it is I have to see. Beyond those doors lies the field of discipline where students of Angrila strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history. And of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the Wise Ones, who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, Ayi, accepted him as a disciple, and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, 
Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkant's magic, he might never have prevailed. Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone, a pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkant. I have not heard the name before. Now, allow me to show you to the Field of Discipline, if you would be so good as to follow me. Hmm. We two sworn companions, Erdwin and Morkant, do hereby pledge to lay low the Dark One, though it cost us our very lives. May this pact stand from now until eternity. You know what? Something I've been meaning to do for ages. I'm gonna increase the camera speed at least a notch. Maybe two notches. Two more notches. Much better. Okay. Welcome to the field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors, an unbroken line leading all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. His achievements? <laughs> Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation. Directly to their fundament. It became known as... The Naughty Stick! During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master, and emerged stronger every time. The fall of the World Tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honored if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us, but in this respect at least, we can provide. Night, the High Law holds a banquet in Karsten's honor. The long suffering disciples are overjoyed to have an evening's respite from their training and eat, drink, and dance till the early hours. Then morning comes. Awake at last, hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master was still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. All right. I guess we're going to be heading up the mountain now then. behind 
there. Nope. Alright. Open area. Trust you slept well last night? Hang on a sec. His holiness awaits you outside. Seems he is keen to wish you luck on the next stage of your journey. It said he intended to speak with you alone, but I hear raised voices coming from the other side of the door. What could be happening out there, I wonder? And the hermit? What news of him? Forgive us, your holiness. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced, then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Alone? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. The mountain has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. A knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. We must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent. Okay, so we have an NPC joining us. I'm hoping he has healing because it's always nice when I have someone else to worry about healing. Not to mention another target that's invincible with monsters to focus on. Who are you? Huh. Summit Tunnel. First, though... Yeah, we'll get that later. We need to head back over here and see what's at the end of this path. Chest. Now, does that... Hendrick hold on to it since it can be used as an item to uh, cast mute on a group of enemies. So, probably will never use it, but potentially worth keeping around. And this is where you'll be coming. You're going to rescue the hermit who went off to the top of the mountain, correct? Please be careful, it would not do for one as important as yourself to go missing, too.
Hi, you're blocking my way. Alright, fine. We'll see how things go fighting you. Black Dragon. Wait, our NPC isn't here to help us? Well, that's annoying. Alright, well, Dragon Slash it is. You shall not prevail. Should be able to hopefully finish it off here. There we go. Victory is ours. For as much trouble as those are. That was not a lot of XP. I do need to fight you. Only one of you, really? Our triumph was never in doubt. Bunch of that's not a dragon, that's a whatever that is. And I see a chest. Sorcerer's ring. Now, what does that do? MP when you win a battle. I kind of prefer the restore MP every turn. Site up there, that's convenient. So we will take a look at that in a moment. For right now, I hope you have been enjoying. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.